to the aid of Kyrie Irving. Let's see what he had to say. I know a lot of y'all been hearing a lot about this. I'm really kind of upset because normally I would have been covering news like this, but I haven't. But this is the first take on it. I'm going to put together, uh, I'm going to actually do a whole video on this, but let's just see what Nick Cannon has to say. I can wholeheartedly say I know Kyrie Irving is not anti-Semitic. When given the chance to say, are you anti-Semitic? That he didn't say, no, I'm not anti-Semitic. At the press conference, tell us about that movie, White Did. He said, stop dehumanizing me. And the movie is saying white Jews invented the Holocaust. That six million Jews didn't get killed. Okay, I, I know that isn't right. Right. There's a gigantic historical record. Jewish people know when you dehumanize us this way, we know what's around the corner. So in that same statement as those are the tropes that dehumanize Jewish people, the same buck breaking. What's that? I don't really know what that means, to be perfectly honest. The slave masters would bring the buck, the one that gets out of line. So all the other slaves would see lash after lash showed them the power to set an example. This is what you must do to fall in line. So when we see the six things that Kyrie must do to get his job back, right. that's dehumanizing.